Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for November 5th, 2020. So again, we have our cabochon here and it is, let's see if I can get it there, Archangel Ariel. So Ariel is all about detoxification, the nature of things, feeling safe in your own body, your human aspect. It's kind of, it's kind of along the line of Archangel Sandalfin energy, yes? So tuning into, you know what it is? I, I feel this smoothing out frequency. Like there could be things coming at us that are shocking that we're just like, what? You know, <laughs> like what is going on here? And I do believe these are things that are beyond our current imagination. Okay. So the Archangel Ariel does encourage us to remain grounded, to find a way to be human, but in a pure way. So we're talking about personal change and then that change being reflected outwardly. It has nothing to do with violence. It has nothing to do with violence. Okay. A time for healing, balsamic moon. Right there it is. So as we said yesterday as well, you know, we have to look within and be willing to heal. I'm still healing. With all of these things going on, I found myself having to get very, very honest and saying, you know what? I can't do it alone. You know what? I do want support. You know what? I need someone else's perspective. And so I'm going down that road. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. It's nice to talk to true, good-hearted people, not the fair-weather friends, not the narcissistic friends. They have their place. They're real fun at happy hour, but don't tell them anything. Okay. <laughs> and don't call them out as narcissists. Don't do not as I do, because then you will get attacked by them from their narcissistic injury. So a time for healing means get honest with yourself. Quit saying that everything's okay when you know it's not. At the same time, we don't want people out there using their quote unquote healing as a manipulation tactic to get people to pay attention to them and feel sorry for them. This isn't about pity. I, I wish I could articulate purely what this time is all about and what 2021 is going to be all about. It is sobering. And there can be a moment of, I don't even know what to do. And then something beautiful happens. More of us, more of us, more pieces of us as individuals gets reclaimed. We get integrated. We start to see things and understand things and then we know how to move forward. We're going to be asked to go, can I put it in a human way, to the next level. But it's going to feel beautiful. We're going to see how necessary these times were. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.